Hey everybody, it's Terrence and I'm back with another video and I am with... It's your girl Drake. What's good y'all? Welcome. <laughs> we about to get this video popping. Yeah. <laughs> Just for everybody watching, I am going to leave a link to her cha her channel in the description box below. So definitely go check her out and subscribe because she's slightly less funny than me, but you can watch her stuff anyway. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna play this little game. We're gonna call it Besties for No Cash, where we um, ask a series of questions. We have 10 and we're going to see how accurately we can guess it. So we're gonna write it on a sheet of paper, then we're gonna reveal our answers, and then we're gonna hold up a sheet of paper to see how right we both are, so. so Basically, we're doing this to see how well we know each other, so either this can go really, really well, or really uh, not well. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. All right, so the first question is, what is your favorite body part? Um, on me, my favorite body part would have to be my lips because they're just so great. Um, I used to really not like them like at all. I used to think they were like big and gigantic, but as of now, I think my favorite body part is my lips. <laughs> what did you do? What did you I wrote, oh. I wrote this big old booty and I put pound, um, pound buns of steel, pound, pound cake <laughs> because he's really been working out in the gym lately and I thought that that was what he was going to say but I guess not. <laughs> Y'all use these hashtags whenever you whenever you Instagram or, or tweet him. Use those hashtags. I'm gonna put the hashtags in the description box too. If you like, tag me on stuff, please. I'm scared to know what you even wrote. <laughs> so, um, my favorite body part would have to be uh, my big old booty, <laughs> buns of steel. Really? Is that what you're gonna go with? Yeah. <laughs> what did you put? Not but. <laughs> oh, oops. I put her toes. Why <laughs> did you put my toes there? <laughs> because you're always wiggling them around. You consistently send me pictures of freshly painted toes. Please do me on my toes. Please, Please no. They don't Please. need to see. Y'all, y'all. Let me tell you how many pictures I have of just her feet because she loves to like send me pictures of her freshly painted toenails. Um, she I, knows that I do not like feet, so she likes to wiggle them around all over my uh, personal space. Y'all, I don't even know what he's talking about. Okay, you guys. So, question number two: What are you craving right now? I am craving. Strawberry shortcake. Really? Yeah, a lot of like a lot of strawberry and whipped cream. <laughs> Is that really what you? That's that's your final answer. Yeah, wait, let's let's see what he wrote. I wrote. <clears throat> let me scoot that. A man. Oh. Or, <laughs> <laughs> or bacon. Anybody that knows me knows I love desserts. Um, so right now I'm really, really craving some lemon meringue pie. Let me come closer. Mm -hmm. I put 
something microwavable and I put pound <laughs> pound struggle meals, pound frozen food because uh, we have an insider where he never cooks anything but um, microwavable food. Or... Let's be clear, I'm a chef. I can cook. Cook what? Macaroni and cheese? That's his favorite, by the way. Mac and cheese. My favorite. Ooh, spaghetti. Oh, it's spaghetti. <laughs> but you really like mac and cheese. This is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> the worst he just man. ate pizza. I like pizza too. But spaghetti is my favorite. I'm so I, I'm sorry, guys. This is not my best friend. I don't know. Clearly, I don't know. Clearly, I, really, I don't know him. So, I don't know why we're filming this video. All right, so the next question is, what is the first thing you do in the morning? The first thing that I do every morning, every single morning, is um, when I wake up, I scratch my dog's stomach. Really? Yes, because he's always like on his like back, like right next to me, so I'm like, good morning. Intermission. Pudgy is petty. When I come over, he act like he loves me. But if I ever FaceTime Terrence, he act like he don't know who I am. But anyway, um, I answered, he drinks a big cup of pettiness, <laughs> petty juice, and no ice. That's what he does because he's petty every day. And that's what he does in the morning. <laughs> you guys have seen my YouTube videos. You know that I am not in the slightest to petty. I am not. Just zoom in on my face, YouTube. Just see this. This. <laughs> the first thing I do in the morning is I scroll down my Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat before I even brush my teeth. Yes. I know that's nasty, but that's what I do. I'm fed. She, uh, Pulls out wedgies, or she yawns and smells her own breath. Yeah, you know. I mean, the wedgie could be front or back wedgie, whichever one you pull out. It's fine. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, that'd be like number two. Number two. But I, I normally just like knock that crest out, go ahead and start scrolling. Yeah, you got to get that out because sometimes you be sticking your eye closed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Question number four. How would I die in a horror movie? Cause you know I am gonna be famous one day. I'm gonna get my spin off, and you know, why not a horror movie? Actually, I wouldn't die, but hypothetically speaking, you know. Okay, so if I'm scared, I might just go ahead and um, I don't know. <laughs> I'd be like, kill me, like you have to come get me, cause I don't like hiding. So I'd probably be like, come on, we're gonna fight. We gonna go out. I'm gonna go out swinging. So you have to beat my ass and kill me on the spot. That's how I'm going out. Oh, well, <clears throat> because I know her. Because I know the real her. And <clears throat> that is a real me. <laughs> because I know the real her. <clears throat> I said, um, some random small animal or something's gonna run out. And she's gonna get scared, which is gonna cause her to, you guys see that? Yeah, it's gonna cause her to run into something stupid and or the killer herself, or the killer. Cause I always imagine like, I imagine it being like a Jason or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I imagine Jason. it too. So like, some like squirrel's gonna run across the road and she's gonna be like, oh my God! She's gonna run the opposite way and run straight into the killer because she's done things like that multiple times. Multiple um, times, yeah. So yeah, or I don't know, you kinda unlucky. So some random act yeah, something, something in nature random. is gonna attack her or something. Yeah. Something in nature is gonna like fly across her path and she's gonna freak out. That is so true. <laughs> I don't even know why did. She's talking about she's gonna fight. No, she's not. She, I will fight. Don't play. If I were to die in a horror movie. I'll be so sad. It'd probably be mostly because I'm not doing anything. I probably just kind of just sit there and be like, oh, and um, get killed. Yeah, kind of. Okay. So my answer is, <laughs> it's a lot. So someone will steal his contacts and while he's oh! sleeping. 
<laughs> or his glasses. I, I tried to draw some glasses. So wait. But um, <laughs> and kind of like tortures him in the dark. <laughs> Why are you making fun of a metal cooking dish? I'm just saying, like. No, y'all, like, honestly, I can't. I can't see at yeah. all. Like, I can't. So it would be over for you. So somebody took my glasses in a scary movie. Well, I wouldn't wear my glasses in a scary movie. That's what I said, or contacts. Like, they gonna snatch them on my eyes? Don't you take your contacts out of sleep? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah somebody took my vision away. I'd be done. Cause... <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, no, help me. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> So, question number five. Mm -hmm. Question number five is, he or she hates it when I do what? He got a lot of pet peeves. So, something that this one does that I absolutely cannot stand is when she puts her feet in my personal space. Because... As I told you guys before, she's obsessed with her toes. Don't let her fool you, okay? So, <laughs> she will definitely lift up her feet and, like, put them in my this area. Knowing good and well that I do not like feet. Yeah. So, my answer, I, I couldn't choose just one. I had three. So, she... But, um, uh, it was definitely the bare feet. That was number one. Two, I put, um, complain about men. He really hates that. And then the third one was ignore him. I do hate that. I hate when people, you guys, I hate when people ignore me. Like, I got middle child syndrome, so. Yeah. I definitely hate, hate that. that. I think that was so, a win. Like, yeah, that's a zing, zing. Zing, zing. Zing, zing. We on the road now. Okay. So, I hate it when Terrence. Hmm. I, I, I really don't get annoyed often. But I guess I hate it when he has an attitude. I don't ever get attitudes, you guys. I'm always very happy. He had an attitude earlier today. What did I have an attitude earlier? In the mall. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. He did have an attitude. Anyway. He dried my whole soul. I said that she gets absolutely 100% annoyed, and not just with me, but with anyone, when they drink out of her cup. No, seriously. I don't play that. Um... She does not, she, I definitely drank out of her cup a couple times and she threw the entire, like, cup in the trash. In the trash. And I was like. Like, neither one of us will enjoy it. Like, don't <laughs> drink out of my stuff. Like, I don't understand. And, like, one time he drank out of a jug and didn't tell me. I was so <laughs> All right, so, um, I just, like, I live my whole bachelor life. So, I just drink out of my jug, like, whatever. Nobody's living with me, so whatever. So, I don't think about it. So, she came over one time, and she was like, you got some juice. Did and I say I, it like that? Yes. No. That's what it sounded like in my head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I guess I got some juice. <laughs> And then so, I asked him, I said, did you drink out of this? Because I don't see cups. And I was like, no, nah, probably not. And she drank out of it. And I remembered later, I was like, oh, wait, you know what I drank out of that? And she was like, ah! Like, it tasted funny. I knew it. It tasted funny. Yeah. I probably drank it when I first woke up, to be honest. <laughs> so, question number, I believe it's six. Um, question number six. Where would I be ten years from now? I mean, like, a thing about 10 minutes from now, to be honest. I'm gonna say, yeah, that's hard to plan, but, um, we're gonna work it out, okay? We got this. So, 10 years from now, I see myself as rich. I'm not gonna say rich, but living good, eating good, maybe with a family, you know. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that's not what I said. <clears throat> what did you say? I said, uh... 10 years and now she'll be twerking to pay off loans. Oh, yeah. So that, that's my backup plan. That's my plan B. Look at that. <laughs> because the struggle is real. Sally Mae is like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I just don't got time. <laughs> I really don't got time. All right. Um, 10 years from now. Honestly, I'm probably gonna be just a single sitting at home playing some video games on my couch with a new dog because Pudgy will be dead by then. <laughs> I know that's real sad, but it's true. Um, probably just sitting at home doing nothing, living my life and trying to get it together still. 
contrary to his belief, <laughs> according to me, <laughs> he's a psychic. He's going to be fat in love with two kids in California. What? <laughs> Can y'all imagine him fat? Why would you ever say that? <laughs> because I want him to be fat. She knows that I Give I'm this like... video a like if you want Terrence to be fat. <laughs> Alright, so question number seven? Mm -hmm. Seven. Seven, seven, seven. Um, who is your celebrity crush? I really don't have a celebrity crush, but let me tell you guys this. <clears throat> when I was younger and I used to uh, watch Disney movies quite frequently. <laughs> what are you about to say? Um, I did really like Nala from The Lion King. Like when she was older, she was always really enticing. Like. Did you, did you see that? Like, she was sexy. Yeah. I don't know about sexy, but she was very I thought that Nala was real sexy, like, her voice. And she, the, in that one, remember when they were like, can you feel the love? And oh, she, my God. And you? she let, licked his face. I was like, girl. <laughs> like, I woo, am dead. Like, I thought, no. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> like, I'm done. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> My answer was <laughs> Janelle Monet. Like he said, he doesn't have a um, celebrity crush, but I feel like he loves to dress and style, and I think that he would love like a respectable woman to like, you know. Okay, so my celebrity crush, I know he gonna get it. Female is Angelina Jolie. That's your celebrity crush? That's my celebrity crush, Angelina Jolie. Wait, read that, read that. <laughs> he knows. Dang, dang. He knows. Ange Actually, it's Angelina Jolie's lips, but it's a little awkward. <laughs> <laughs> like, can I have those lips? I don't know. So, the next question, question number nine. Yeah, yeah not. Question number nine is, what is your favorite phrase? Phrase? Hmm. What does Terrence like to say? Alright, so anybody that knows me <clears throat> will know that um, my, pretty much my go-to phrase is O. Oh. <laughs> like O-H period. And I wrote that backwards. It but, really is. Um, I say it frequently. I feel like it's just really applicable to a bunch of like situations. You, you use it when somebody does something like that has some nonsense and you're just like, oh. I don't know why that, that one didn't come to my head. That, but that is true. Everything he said is true. But I actually wrote some other ones, which he, he will agree they are. I put what boobs, because he's always trying to play me. <laughs> I put OMG because he's always like surprised or something. Like, I don't know. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> And the other one I put was, God bless his cotton socks on a <laughs> runway outfit. <laughs> because that's, that is our favorite phrase from RuPaul. Like, season, I don't even know what season that, that was. was. season eight. With Derek. Uh, no, it was, no. it was the last season. Oh, was it? Yeah, it was, was season Was it Derek? Eight. Derek Bell? No. Was Devin. Devin. Who was Devin? It was with Bob. Britney Spears. I'm saying. Oh, Derek Barry. Yeah. Derek Barry, yeah. Yeah, Derek, Derek Barry. When he came out of No, it was Cynthia. Oh, with Cynthia? Cynthia came out with those socks and the cowboy hat. Listen, <laughs> that was funny. Look, I got it wrong, but that was funny. And then the last one is, I live. Like, if he sees something he loves, he be like, I live. He be like, I live too. Yeah, we, we living together. So, um, my phrase would be, hmm, what my phrase be? It'd probably be something like rude. I feel like, I would tell you, no, like no one cares or like, I don't know. <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't know. What I've <laughs> literally never heard you say that. I really don't know. Well, I yeah. feel like whatever it is, I probably say it a lot. She does. Um, and she'll probably agree with these. Um, oh, oh sorry. Okay. This is kind of both of our go-to phrase. I actually got it from her a long time ago. So whenever something is getting on our nerves or something like that, we claim that we are stressed out. Oh yeah. Okay. 
being stressed out is like it just it something is just like irritating your life just for a second then you're stressed out about it even if you're not actually like feeling stressed it's just like oh my god that's annoying but instead of saying annoying it's like you're stressed out yeah. the second one she said this um about 130 times since i've been here i've only been here for uh not even 24 hours um sickening um she said that everything is sickening um like literally everything is sickening and i'm like okay i'm sorry you need to go to the, like the doctor or something like that because yeah, sickening. It's nasty. <laughs> and the last one, I've definitely heard her say this about uh, eighty times since I've been here. When it's like when she agrees with something that I say, she'll be like, "No, for real." Yeah. Okay, I give you that one. But definitely the first two. Definitely. Okay, so the last question is something that no one knows about us. Something that. No one knows about me is that she claims she can fight. No, no, for real though. Like, even though I'm really chill, see, see, see what? She oh, just said no for, for real. real. People think that I'm a really, I didn't even notice that. People think that I'm a really, um, chill person, so like, I don't get stressed out about a lot of stuff, but in my head, like, I really be stressed out and upset about stuff. I just don't like to show it because it, I feel like it defeats the purpose. It's like, let it go. I'd rather let it go than let it bother me. So, like, a lot of people probably, like, do stuff and be like, oh, Draco won't care. Like, oh, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But, like, I probably do care. I just don't feel like talking about it. I'll just get over it. Okay. Um, not going to go too much into detail. And I know it seems kind of generic. But um, I do know some stuff about her love life that I'm assuming that everybody else doesn't know. Yeah. Um, Only certain details with yeah. friends. Yeah, she's, uh, she, like, I feel like I'm her go-to person when she talks to people, maybe. Um, so, like, I know a bunch of stuff about her love life, and I would like to tell myself that, like, oh, she's only telling me. But, no, seriously, I do. Oh, cool. Well, yeah, um, I'm not going to divulge that stuff, obviously, but, Please like. <laughs> <laughs> story time. No, no, no but, story time. <laughs> but, um. I feel like I do know a lot about her love life that a bunch of people don't know. Okay, so your secret. All right. Um, something about me that I feel like nobody knows is that secretly, like deep, deep, deep down in my soul, I'm kind of a softy. Um, I kind of have like this nonchalant like face all the time, but I care about stuff. I just don't like showing it, that's, or I just that's don't. Completely what I say. said. Is it really? No. Yeah, yeah. I literally said. He seems heartless on the outside, but like deep down inside, he really cares, and he's a sweetheart. Like I literally like oh, do that. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, he really do. Like, but I feel like that's honestly like, the only thing people don't know about me because I'm pretty much an open book. He, he's not an open book. You're not. Uh -huh. You keep a lot of stuff inside. You are really? Yeah. Whoops. Yeah. But I think that that sums it up. Like, you know, all into one thing. Oops. We don't want to get into specifics. Yeah, let's not. <laughs> all right so uh, those were all 10 of the questions um if any of you see this video and you do a best friend tag uh make sure to like link me to the video because i want to see all of those that'd be a one day one super great um again i'm going to leave her youtube channel in uh, the description box so you can go subscribe to her watch her videos do all that kind of stuff did you have anything else to say i just really love this guy like he's really my best friend <laughs> y'all can't have him mm -mm. y'all gotta come to me first meanwhile nobody wants me so it's fine oh okay that's great <laughs> <laughs> all right all right you want to do my outro with me sure so again, thank you guys for watching this video. And if you are not already and you would like to definitely follow me on Instagram, it's hello Terrence, three O's, one R, exactly how it's spelled here, somewhere, wherever. And as always, I love you guys. Be great.